I'm Ed Massey with Massey Yacht Sales in Palmetto, Florida, and around the state of Florida, a little bit California and New York. This morning, uh, we're going to uh, take a look at another one of the Catalina 5 series of performance cruising sailing yachts. Catalina yachts are uniquely American with a strong focus on performance, safety at sea, and enduring value. This morning we're going to take a short tour of the Catalina 545. There's much more involved and available uh, in the 545 than we can cover in this short video. If you want more information, I'll be, I have a lot of information packaged up and all you need to do is contact me. Um, we'll give you the contact information at the uh, end of the video and I can send you expansive, comprehensive information on how the boat is built and lots of uh, pictures as well as this video. So let's get to looking at the Catalina 545. We want to start on the foredeck and if you'll notice there's a large hold or stowage locker forward and uh, that closes. It's a opaque kind of lens. Forward of that is the optional electric jib furling system and if you'll notice coming back towards the transom of the boat that the walkways are very open you don't have to walk around anything on any of the Catalina 5 series actually the weather decks are open also the lifelines are higher than on most boats about three inches higher so that it's you can grasp the lifelines or the stern rail without bending over really at all as we enter the cockpit, you'll notice that the cockpit is, there's a large social area where I'm sitting, and then after the social area is the nav area. And all of the con sail controls for this boat are aft of the social area, so that you can literally single hand this boat once you're out of the dock. Also, this boat, uh, as on most of the larger nav uh, five series Catalinas, have twin nav stations. Uh, we always order our boats with two 12-inch Axiom Pro plotters, as well as the i70 um, multifunction displays, which allow you to uh, cursor through a number of pages. In the cockpit, we always uh, order the boats, as with this boat, with the very nice cockpit tables. Uh, this particular 545 has the uh, a teak cockpit table, which the leaves raise and lower, a couple of cockpit lights, as well as a light at the base of the cockpit table. All of the um, Catalinas, uh, we order them with very nice closed sail cockpit cushions, as we have on this one. And you also will notice in the video that the starboard side cockpit cushion can be expanded uh, to be a, a really a lounge or a sleeping platform and then when you uh, want it to be just a regular cockpit cushion you fold up that particular panel and it's it's a standard cockpit cushion in the center of the cockpit forward is a large space for a life raft you could put an eight person life raft very handily here and if, if uh, a disaster happened and you had to get to that life raft quickly it'd be easy to deploy also, you'll notice that the windshield on this boat is the polycarbonate and the sight lines are excellent and no distortion whatsoever. So when you're sailing the boat or motoring the boat, you have clear sight lines and good headroom. There's about six feet, eight inch uh, to seven feet, uh, actually about seven feet of headroom underneath the helm station. Going forward, it'll be about six feet, eight inches as the cockpit sole slopes a little bit. This particular yacht has a 70-foot mast, that's standard on the 545, a six and a half foot uh, draft with a lead keel. Uh, this boat was set up as a uh, cutter rig boat with a staysail. The boat comes standard with a self-tending jib. You can add uh, the 135 roller furling Genoa, and you can also add to this boat the um, Code GX Screecher, you know, the Polis um, furling cruising spinnaker. 
Um, now we want to, oh, by the way, on this boat also, all of the winches are electric and they're all there at the helm station. So one person can handle all of the electric winches from the helm station. Uh, why don't we go down below now and take a look at the interior. The Catalina 545 has an expansive three stateroom, two head interior. The finishes are superior. You'll notice that all the wood grain is matched book, uh, matched wood grain running throughout the boat. You have nice use of vertical and horizontal grains throughout the boat as well. The salon is a little bit unique to the extent that it's set up with a proper dinette here and if we removed our table place settings we could fold this leaf over and we would have um, a four top, well actually a one, two, three, four, five and we have another ottoman in the forward stateroom. All, all we have to do to move them is move them and we would then have seating for six in one place. There's also beautiful woodwork that converts from a tabletop to uh, a little place to store things. And likewise, this ottoman, if you don't need it as an ottoman, but say you, you want to put it over here, and you're, you're having drinks and hors d'oeuvres, you have a, a, the ideal spot to put your uh, drinks and hors d'oeuvres. Again, we have another one in the forward stateroom. This boat uh, also has an extension berth that's the easiest of all extension berths. This just simply slides out, the cushions fall behind it, and now we have a very large double, a very large double to, uh, to port aft, a queen size, a full queen size mattress forward, and then in the starboard side we have two singles, but if it's appropriate, we turn it into one double. When in this position, it also allows us to remove this panel with complete access to the generator. And there's a light, of course, in the engine room so you can see everything. We're gonna, we're gonna move this back so that we're in the twin singles. The galley on the boat is a proper sea galley. And by that I mean it's, it's kind of a L shape so that were you in a seaway, you wouldn't fall into the salon or fall across the boat. There's, there's only so much room uh, going this way, so you're, you could grab the handholds, it's very safe in other words, with a very nice and very large proper freezer. Uh, we have two drawer refrigerator units <clears throat> with good capacity, <clears throat> one above and one below. and an ice maker. And then when you have your guests in that beautiful social area of the cockpit and you want to make some sandwiches or put some drinks in this tray, rather than walking up the companionway, which is a little dangerous because you're using both your hands, Catalina very cleverly created a dumbwaiter, goes up to that hatch, and you can safely deliver your hors d'oeuvres, snacks, sandwiches, and drinks uh, to the folks in the cockpit. You see it goes all the way up. The aft stateroom on the port side uh, features a large double berth, hanging locker, drawers, and of course these very very nice accordion shades that give you a view out of the boat through these fixed port lights or they're also known as dead lights. There's stowage just about everywhere you can put stowage on the boat. Cabinets hanging from this, um, from the outboard bulkhead. Uh, drawer packs here. And then, as with the other stateroom, you have a series of opening doors that allow you to get to everything that you need to get to in the machinery space. 
Also, it, Catalina's engineered this boat so it's very easy to get to all your filters and ball valves. The galley, well thought out, has a large pots and pans stowage area as well as other items that you would want to store here. More storage. Good space under here. You'll notice that the uh, raw water filter for the engine and the gin set live here, as well as the fuel tank selectors. And of course there's a trash bin on the forward side of the galley, which you throw your garbage in there. And when it's time to empty the trash can, you can do it from there. This is the ice maker. Again, all very convenient, very easy to access. And notice, notice the grain. This is all the matchbook grain. Uh, all these panels are cut out of one piece of uh, teak ply with CNC router, so everything lines up beautifully. And you'll find that throughout the boat on all the Catalina 5 Series boats from the 31 right up through the 54. All the accordion shades in the salon stay in the up position to be closed and the down position to open. So you can tailor the amount of light you want coming into the boat to kind of match the mood you're in, as well as all of these LED lights and all the, boat, all the lights on the boat are LED. Uh, those are a rheostat so you can dim them or brighten them. I'm going to turn off the um, television I have and now I'm going to lower it to kind of get it out of the way. It's a large TV. I think that's a 40 inch screen TV. That swivels. So the, the salon with this big L-shaped settee and this very nice uh, settee on the starboard side becomes a great viewing area for whatever you want to watch, your favorite sports uh, teams, movies. You can stream, stream movies if you want. Also, you'll notice in the salon you've got the two fixed deadlights, port and starboard, that allow you to see out of the boat when you're in the sitting position. So you've got great views uh, on, outside the boat from of whatever is going on around you. The electronic distribution panel, which is award-winning panel, uh, I believe Sail Magazine gave Catalina the award for this distribution panel. Everything is clearly marked, easy to read, easy to work. Importantly, I want to show you the through hull, and this is the through hull. This boat has a jet thruster system and this is the through hole for the jet thruster. And you can see the thickness of this. And the modern glasses uh, that builders use, and Catalina in particular, particular are about 40% stronger than the old fashioned woven mat and roving that we used many, many years ago. So as thick as this is, it's about 40% stronger than had this been the same thickness in days gone by. There are two watertight bulkheads on board, uh, well, four and a half bulkheads, one at the forward end of the uh, uh, berth, owner's berth, and one at the after end of these berths or the staterooms uh, aft. This is a product, a PVC product made by Carbon Core. It's very lightweight but remarkably strong. And of course, water can't bother this material at all should there ever be any water intrusion that would want to get into a wood panel, well, they aren't. Uh, there's five bulkheads on the boat you, uh, made with this material. And this boat also features a steering system that is a boxed steering system. And that's a steering, well, not a steering system, but the rudder post itself. And that's the kind of rudder post you would find on a commercial boat. So that if, if in a Worst case scenario, the rudder was damaged or knocked out of the boat somehow by a floating container or some large object just below the surface, the boat would not flood with water. Similarly, the crash bulkhead 
uh, the watertight crash, crash bulkhead forward and the strike zone below, below the anchor platform or anchor locker, you could tear a chunk out of the bow of this boat and no water would flood into the boat. I don't know of another popularly priced boat that has these features. Catalina really focuses on safety at sea a great deal and these are things you can't see but they're very very important and Catalina does a great job of including those features and benefits on all of their 5 series boats. Let's take a look at the owner's stateroom. Thank you for taking the time to review the walkthrough of the Catalina 545. As I said earlier, there's a great deal more in the way of features and benefits for all the Catalina 5 Series yachts. If you'll contact me directly, Ed Massey, Massey Yacht Sales, I can send you comprehen comprehensive information packages that include the construction details as well as the Massey Build Your Own Catalina yacht, 545 yacht, any of the six boats, uh, directly to you, I'll email it to you, and you can spec out your own boat. Again, thank you very much. This is Ed Massey with Massey Yacht Sales.